Welcome to my Edmonton Real Estate Insider, which is a weekly market update for the city of Edmonton. And each week I answer one of these four questions. So how fast are homes in Edmonton selling? How much are homes in Edmonton selling for? Are homes in Edmonton selling for list price? And what are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton? So in this video, I am answering how fast are homes in Edmonton selling? I'm Jen McFilming with Remax River City. And if you're watching this video, you must love stats and data as much as I do. I think it's really important actually for buyers and sellers or potential buyers and sellers to have a general idea of what's happening in the market. And hopefully I explain the data in a way that's easy to understand and find it applicable to your decision-making process. The very least, hopefully it frames your expectations, whether you're a buyer or a seller. So the Real Estate Insider is not just a video. I also publish it as a blog where you can go and check out the data at your own pace if you found this video to be a little bit too fast or you just want to reference it. So let's head over there right now. The data in this month's reports is based on Edmonton MLS data from June 1st to June 31st, 2022. In this video, we're answering how fast homes are selling for in Edmonton. To answer that question, we are going to look at the average days on market for a variety in a variety of ways. We'll look at how fast homes are selling in the different areas of the city. We'll look at how fast homes are selling compared to the monthly data and the yearly data. Before we go further into the report, I did make an addition to the report and it's going to be updated every week. I think it's a great tool for overall market perspective for Edmonton. But remember, Edmonton is very segmented. So if you are a buyer or a seller in the market, you'd really need to drill down into the data specific to your real estate needs. Okay, so let's head back over to the new feature. This overall market tracker provides the homes currently for sale from the first week of July compared to homes that are sold in June 2022. Many people like to do a calculation of months of inventory. It provides them with a general idea of what state the market is in, whether it's a buyer's market, a balanced market, or a seller's market. Typically, that calculation is completed by using the current inventory from the end of the month and dividing it by the amount of homes sold throughout that month. So in addition to this data, I also have a tracker uh, to the right, which just provides you with a running total of sold homes year to date for detached, attached, condo apartment, and the other category. So moving on to the main point of this video, how fast are homes selling in Edmonton uh, based on days on market? So looking at the district map, this beautiful map that I just arbitrarily determine what's northwest, northeast, central, central south, etc. Uh, just to give you a general idea of how these areas compare to each other. Uh, not surprisingly, detached homes are popular in all areas um, because the homes are selling fast there compared to attached and condo apartments. What I find interesting is that in the south and southwest, attached are almost as popular as detached homes and these are selling around the same amount of days on market. Still, these are around 30 days on market. So that is telling me you have enough time as a buyer to do due diligence, your financing or property inspection conditions uh, before these homes are selling. And in fact, they're on the market for a couple weeks before they get an offer. Now this isn't gonna apply to all homes, but in general. Condos are still taking a while to sell in every district and not surprising South Central and Central are seemingly some of the longest times uh, condo apartments are selling for even though these areas are concentrated with condo apartments but because of the pandemic lots of people have seemed to move out of these areas. So how does this compare to the monthly and yearly information? Uh, the days on market started out high in January and February. This is not surprising as the winter months, usually things take longer to sell and the spring market, things were selling very fast. As we go into the summer months, uh, things are increasing 
for all categories. And it's not surprising as people head into holidays and there's less people around, less people concentrated on buying that home. We might see actually this shift or come back down or flatten just before September when people try to get in the homes before the school year starts or winter or before winter comes. Um, checking the days on market compared to year over year. We are doing better in all categories except for detached. I would say it's basically the same because it's 20 or 29 days. So things are still hotter than they were, I guess, last year. And last year was a pretty good year for real estate. So if you're not just interested in the Edmonton real estate market data, but you want to see what's for sale in Edmonton, go to my website. You can search all homes for sale on the MLS on my website. And if you're a seller and interested in potentially selling or seeing what equity you have in your home, I'd be happy to do a market evaluation specific to your property. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please click that like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on these videos I'm posting weekly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.